Before this video starts, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Really, a jellyfish with wings? That doesn't even make any sense. At least when they use scallops for birds and whatnot, that at least makes sense. I mean, come on, they actually used the whole bats idea with scallops back in one crab's trash. Yeah, I love Halloween. <laughs> yep, that guy's dead. And also, jellyfish just love zapping random people for no reason. There was no glitter to be seen in this scene, but Spongebob pulls this bottle of glitter out of nowhere. So why go through the trouble of making this sign when you were just gonna cut it in half, Spongebob? That's just wasting paper. Jellyfish don't have mouths with teeth in them. And there they go again, zapping people for no reason even after Spongebob just gave them a cookie. Those are too cute for Halloween, Spongebob. Oh, Patrick, Halloween is cute. Sharing candy, holding hands, singing songs. It's a bright and cheery time of year. Hey, I get the getting candy part, but all those other things you just said sounds more like Christmas. And Christmas is another two months away. And SpongeBob pulls his costume from out of nowhere. Where did Squidward get these giant onions? The opening to Patrick's helmet expands in this scene. There's no back opening for SpongeBob to hide in, in this scene, but now there is. Patrick pulls his mirror out of nowhere. You won't be able to see Patrick in this angle when he holds the mirror. SpongeBob? Here I am. Uh... So how exactly did SpongeBob get behind Patrick and then all of a sudden ended up in his mouth? Wait, should I even ask that question? Do we really need to see Patrick's rotten teeth? It's a horror show, right? <laughs> whoa, 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 wait a minute. What are Patrick and SpongeBob doing in Sandy's tree dome without their water helmets on? I guess it would have been too hard to animate the water helmets on them rather than just have them come waltzing in without them on. Two cents for both of them. Frankencheeks' his goggles change his size in the next scene. We see SpongeBob with four fingers in this scene, but if you look closely in the next scene, he has five fingers now. How did Patrick get underneath the table without Sandy even noticing he was gone? And on top of that, get his head chopped off. And I don't think you should be touching his brain like that. You could make him, oh yeah. Frankencheeks Cheeks was here, then she disappears in the next scene. Did someone forget to erase these strings that are hanging off the monster? Or is it supposed to be there? I don't know, that's still a sin. What? What kind of technology you have if you're able to shrink down Patrick and Spongebob to that size and then regrow them? Now, we all know that Mr. Krabs is very cheap. It probably won't set up a very good haunted house, but I'm amazed that he even went through all this trouble to even set it up. And on top of that, I would take it that he would also charge Patrick and Spongebob to go through this, right? What an ironic costumes to wear on Halloween just for this one gag. As soon as Plankton pushed that button, he all of a sudden gets his costume on. Then drag their lifeless bodies back to the kitchen and grind them into grinders! <laughs> And guess what? You're eating it! Crabby patties are people! They're people patties! You're eating people patties! <laughs> oh, they're eating people patties? Then what are you feeding everyone that is chum? Do you have any idea what chum is made of? <laughs> Kidnapping. And also that kid's now falling to his death. There were no people around when the ship arrives, but now there is when the Flying Dutchman shows up. Oh, you dare to laugh on Halloween? Um, I guess so. Why, can he? Usually people laugh when they're scaring people or either pranking someone. And now SpongeBob pulls these marshmallows and stick out of nowhere. Wait a minute, I thought this was a stop motion animation. And now they all of a sudden pull out puppets for this scene? Wow, talk about cutting corners. Patrick's helmet's changed as soon as he closes it. Okay, I admit, the pinball machine is very clever, so I'll at least remove one sin for that. So I guess when the Flying Dutchman takes their soul away from them, they're basically dead, right? So I guess sponges all of a sudden have bones now? I guess with friends like SpongeBob, you don't need anemones, huh, gang? <laughs> Bad joke, Flying Dutchman. So when the robot slams against the wall, it combusts into a million acorns? That doesn't make any sense. 
No one will be seated during the LSD-induced trip of the inner workings of SpongeBob's mind. Hey guys! Oh, free candy! I guess this kid can't tell the difference between a living thing from a piece of candy. Krabby Patties are people! They're people patties! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>